Now, it's a beautiful, as always, Monday morning here at the world headquarters of Marathon Coach. Just wanted to show you before we uh, get my face behind in front of the camera, wanted to show you this beautiful coach, 1303. Isn't that great? I'm gonna jump in here. Hey everyone, hope you had a good weekend. I know I did. Uh, 1303, we showed you a little teaser video on Friday. 1303, I love the fact that we integrated the red into this paint. Take a look at the red that goes along with the, uh, the gray and the black and the white. I think it really looks stunning. Um, if there is some issue with the Wi-Fi, uh, apologies to you. Uh, for those of you watching on Facebook, for those of you who are watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. It's my pleasure to bring this to you every week. Um, we're going to head on inside. I want to show you um, exactly what's going on in this coach. 1303 is about 99% done. And uh, I, I know it's uh, Alan Christensen should be around here somewhere doing decor. Let's head on inside and waste no more time. Yeah. Yeah, apologies again for the Wi-Fi, you guys. It's, we're, we're working on it. It's part of our, our new Wi-Fi system here in the building, but it's also, we are in a big steel building uh, trying to catch Wi-Fi, and that's, that's part of going live on Facebook, so we appreciate you sticking with us. However, the Encore, which is going to be on YouTube, will be perfect. It won't have issues with uh, broadcast, so... Um, I know for those of you who like to criticize our Wi-Fi, I appreciate you watching. Boop. Let's go in here. All right. Hey, Mal. Hey, Al. How are you? I'm good. Let's get your mic turned up. Does he need to, do we need to turn him up? Turn him on real quick. Yeah, let me turn you on real quick. I'll show you how to do this, guys. You just hit that on button like that. Now he's on. Uh, here we are standing in this H3 double slide 1303. Um, I talked to Alan on Friday and he said, well, I'll be right in the middle of decor Monday morning. So feel free to come on in and, uh, and talk to us. Are we, uh, if, if we're, if we're stuck, we apologize. So, um, but I'll tell you what, let's just keep rolling. We're going to get Alan involved here. Uh, let's let's head back this way, Armand, and, and uh, find out what Alan's working on. What are you working on decor right now? Well, I'm just putting the finishing touches uh, on this. I uh, was down here this weekend and putting most of it down. Okay. So yeah, just a few little final final deals. Will you take us through kind of uh, all of the all everything that's involved in 1303 that you designed? Sure. Uh, pretty excited to see. Uh, this style, uh, you know, I love this floor plan, the uh -huh. bath and a half floor plan. A uh -huh. uh, lot of room in here. Um, why don't you uh, talk to us real quick about that? And uh, Rod is actually going to join us. Um, oh, good morning. Good morning. Everybody, uh, I think you've seen him before on Marathon Mondays. Rod Johnson, who's been with Marathon for a long time. Uh, I was talking to him this morning about uh, 1303. Uh, Rod, what do you like about this coach? Oh, I enjoy I enjoy some of the contemporary look, but I really enjoy the uh, the Alexa that's integrated into the systems today, uh, where it's been quite some time that since technology has been in homes. Now we integrate it into the coaches themselves. The appliance garage, appliance center, that's a great feature. Why don't on you this show us? Why don't we get you to show us that on this floor plan? Absolutely. Um, Rod mentions the, uh, the integration of the ambient intelligence, uh, and then one thing you can do is you can either hit this button, as Rod just did, and open the appliance door, or because we have the ambient intelligence in every coach now, you can talk to the coach, and it'll open that. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So tell us what you like about this. Well, what I like now is that we actually have... We actually have... Uh, <laughs> an oven here as well as an espresso but also the wine cooler which we've always had to put the wine coolers in other locations but now with this floor plan kind of puts everything all in one spot for sure also 
up above is a nice storage cabinet up above where if you want to store some of your items for the coffee machine and just kind of keep it here and it doesn't take away from any of your other storage. Absolutely. It's kind of all in one spot for, for everybody. Um, now. And another thing about this oven, the, the third or the, the middle appliance in this setup, it's not just a steam oven, it's actually also a convection oven. Correct. So there's a lot of versatility in this setup. I've never had a better coffee than out of this machine, I'm going to be honest. It's pretty good. It's, it's pretty, pretty nice. It pretty is. Nice. And everything is hidden behind a door that aesthetically looks pleasing. Absolutely. It's in integrated into the wall. It's kind of a nice setting in your galley area to finish off. And interior design does a great job of picking out some type of art form in the front and then they light it, which is uh, also a, a nice feature. Every appliance in a marathon is behind cabinetry. Every appliance that you need is behind cabinetry. Uh, speaking of appliance, why don't you show us our refrigerator since you're standing over there by it. Fisher Paykel. Hard to tell it's a refrigerator except for, of course, the handles that are there. Right. And we do like to match the laminate as you're going through. It's a nice, quiet feeling as you, as you walk through, knowing that it's actually not an actual refrigerator. Absolutely. And when, when you're going by. Really good, um, really good poles on this. I really like that sturdy feel. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got the tiered with the uh, tiered freezer at the bottom with the ice maker. Uh, Rod, before we pull Alan into this conversation, what else do you like about this coach? Heated floors. Oh Alan yeah. Alan did a great job, uh, you know, putting, putting this together. But our heated floors now and our solid stone floors, we uh, have, you know, usually two zones in the coach, uh, which is also a nice feature. For those who utilize their coach in conditions where they would want to have some heated floors. Right. Bath and a half so that wherever, again, in the half bath in the rear, it has the heated floor back there as well as heated floor right here in, in the bath itself, the main bath area. So you got a full bath and a half in this, in this coach. Absolutely. So it, it, good, for, good for multiple people to use at, uh, at one time uh, and heated floors in that rear bath is nice also. Absolutely. And that's great. Absolutely. So you can step out of the bed and go right into that half bath in the right. rear if you need to and it's heated. Right. That's great. Um, yeah, I, I really like this. I was talking with Vern Allen uh, this morning in our quality control team and he was talking about how much he likes his countertop. That's Excuse a, me for a second. I'm going to continue to w walk through walk, I walk through that you guys were in here doing a shoot thank you so much it. yeah goodbye everybody <laughs> i'm still here a <laughs> big thanks to rod for showing up <laughs> we didn't know he was coming in but that's really great to get everybody involved and it, everybody as you can tell is excited about looking at this new coach that's almost done alan come on over here sure let's talk about this floor first of all because the floor the first thing i noticed when i walked in mm -hmm. is that pattern in the middle almost is very similar to the cockpit and these seats over here. So it, it is. It's, uh, it's shagreen, which is shark skin or ray uh, wow. skin. And it's uh, denoted by the pebbly rough surface on it. Sure. Um, it, which kind of puts you in an ocean uh, genre a little bit. And that's what kind of drove this whole floor plan to stay in that. Uh, it's There's obviously different levels of contemporary. Uh, I would put this like a four or five. It is a contemporary coach, but it's also got some warmth to it and uh, uh, some transition is in, in it as well. The ceiling is beautiful and very typical of a marathon coach. Right now, as you can see everybody, all of the lights are on. Uh, but all of these lights you can turn off. Yeah. I'm, not to cross in front of you there, Armand, I apologize. Um, but you could, you could go with um, your ceiling. Your, let's go with the valance lights off. Mm -hmm. How about the style lights off? And you can also dim those. So That's right. Um, you know, you, you, if they're annoying bright, you can dim them down for a little more ambiance. For sure. Uh -huh. So when you started to design 1303, what's mm -hmm. the number one thing you started with? When you sat down 
and you started picking out everything in this coach? The floor. You started with the yes. floor. Okay. Yep. Now, is that typical? Is that what you uh, usually start with? Or did you have this floor in mind? Uh, it, this one started with the floor. Uh, every coach is a little different. Sometimes it might be a fabric or uh, a leather or it's different things. And whatever inspires you, you try to work around it and uh, see where your journey lies. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think uh, I'll go out on a limb here. I think this floor sells this coach. I think, I think when someone purchases 1303, one of the top things they're gonna say they like about it is this floor. Mm -hmm. um, there's this, this floor really offers a lot to us. Uh, so that we don't run out too much on time, Dick. I want you to show me your top three features or things about 1303 that you like. Well, obviously it would be the, the floor. Yeah. I do like uh, the matte laminate. I do like... Why do you like the matte laminate? Uh, it gives a... No well, fingerprints. No fingerprints. No fingerprints. I know that... Reflection. For some uh, people, for some people that's a big thing. Yeah, it is. Uh, some people matte like Matte laminate's shiny. really uh, a going thing right now. Uh, it's just, uh, doesn't have the, quite the, you know, the reflection aspect to it. For sure. So it's a little more... Uh, I would say uh, the comfort level's a little more yeah. uh, laid laid back a little bit. Let's walk back here so that okay. so that we can show the viewers uh, the bedroom view. I know that when we walked in, the shower seems larger mm -hmm. because it's depth. Yes, I, yeah. I'm going to show you on camera, Armand, uh, just exactly how far back it goes. Mm -hmm. I can stand all the way in here. And you've got all this room. This is a very large shower. Most of our, sh all of our showers are large at this point. Yeah. Because the floor plans call for it. Absolutely. But this, this, I don't know if it's the walls, but it just seems larger. And the shower door doesn't swing out. So because it's in the aisle way, it's yes. easy in and access, you know, so. And we've talked about that before yeah. on Marathon yeah. Mondays, that pocket doors, there's not a single swing door in here except this guy. That's correct. And that's for your washer yeah. dryer. Yeah. And because we have that door, we have a pocket door on uh -huh. that bathroom, yeah. on that water closet. Yep. So um, <clears throat> I noticed that uh, our marketing team was in here shooting photos this morning. Uh -huh. So uh, the, that's why there's this still camera in here. Um, boy, that's an old fashioned term. <laughs> the still camera yeah. from my vaudevillian uh -huh. days. Um, so Ha bath and a half in this. Yeah. Uh, what do you like about back here in the bedroom? What stands out to you that you did in this bedroom? Uh, well, I, I like the Stingray picture first, I, and I, I love too. I love the aqua and cerulean, aqua blues and uh, teals that the ocean has to offer. So it's like a it's like a peacock, but in the ocean. Yes. So it it brings and they really pop on these taupe colors. So. Uh, yeah. oh, that's cute. Yeah, I found that he kind of had a uh, chagrin texture on his uh, Look at that. ears. So, yeah, it's kind of fit. That's cute. Yeah. Um, one of the things that stands out to me, and I don't know if you guys can see this on camera, uh, this floor plan, in order to get a bath and a half in every coach, it it needs to be done right. I want you to see how easy it is for me to stand on the other side of this king size mm -hmm. bed. This angled door, and there's a pocket door that closes right in front of here, okay. and Alan will show us how to, how to close that. Because this wall, oh, now see, you had these <laughs> hidden back here. Yeah. Look at those. B uh, because this is an angled wall, you don't feel closed right. in, yep. in this floor plan, yep. and you still get a very large half bath in the rear of this double slide Absolutely. H3. And you have access to the linen cabinet right yes. behind you. And that's important that, that you have a spot for your linens mm -hmm. and these are deep enough and big enough to, to hold several pieces of linen for yeah. you, whether it be for your bed or for your bath. Yeah, you gotta try to, you know, look for every open space you can because storage is such a premium. Absolutely. And so the engineers, uh, 
up there to look for every little corner in that because of the angle something's created and try to access that so yeah for sure but I love how I love how the engineering team designed this floor plan mm -hmm. so that you can get on this side make the bed mm -hmm. you can get over here yeah. and have the utilization of space you've got the nightstands you've got the linen closet but also you don't feel closed in because right. you're able to walk through here and then if I open this door um, it just adds a, a dimen another dimension. There's not a swing door, it's a pocket door, so it adds extra dimension to the floor mm -hmm. plan by being in here. And having the photograph in the door, it kind of disguises that it is a door. That's a good point, too. It's like a wall um, in that, and we try to uh, not have big walls of laminate to which can, you know, oh, yeah. Man. Well done, Alan. I know, uh, okay, tell us about this guy. Oh, it was just, uh, it was the whale. I was, <laughs> uh, it was just kind of cool to me. So, uh, looks like he's diving in. Decor is a very important aspect mm -hmm. of a luxury coach. Mm -hmm. It really is. And we see that when you get a coach that isn't decored versus mm -hmm. a coach that has been decored. It really adds depth. Yeah, it's the frosting on the cake. Uh, you so, can't have cake without frosting. Yeah. Can't well, have aesthetic, coach without. Aesthetically. Yeah. It's, yes, you could, you could have it. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Heated so the, floors throughout. I did a uh, lighted, I call it a terraria, terraria aquarium. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, so it's it's got some LED in it. Got and, some clownfish in there. Yeah, in a, in a ray. I saw, I saw the decor Moby Dick in here. Yeah. Uh, over here. Uh, the Herman Melville classic. Yeah, um, yeah really. Uh, oh, what do you got there? Yeah, it changes color. Oh my goodness! Take a look yeah, at that, it's you guys. Cool. Oh, that is really cool. Yeah, so it's just a little added, you know, ambiance, and you know that wouldn't interfere with watching TV. Well, or man, that makes my day because yeah. I love that. That's a, you know. We talk about the fireplace uh, that's uh -huh. down there, yeah. really adding great ambiance at night. Yeah. Well, that would do the same thing. You turn off all the lights, yeah. and you could. So that's kind of a cool feature. Yeah. From a decor standpoint, yeah. just something that changes like that, that's, mm -hmm. that's going the extra mile. And our craftsmen, they, they can, you get an idea and they come up with it. They, they do it, and uh, that's really cool. From interior design, you get some ideas they want to do, and then they make it happen. So it's, a, it's definitely a team effort. Uh, yeah, it really, it really, it does take a village, and, yeah. and our village is very, very talented. It is, absolutely. And so that's really cool. Yeah. Uh, 1303 H3 Double Slide, it is for sale. Mal W at MarathonCoach.com is my email. Uh, let's, let's sell you this coach. Contact me. Let's get you on down the road in the best luxury coach ever created, and that would be from Marathon. What are you excited about, real quick, that you're going to be working on coming up? What are you working on that we are going to want to see? Well, the, the new um, Super Bath. Uh, oh, yeah. I've got one coming up here, that actually, in a couple coaches. And okay. uh, we have a couple on, that are out there on, on display. One's sold, and the other one's close to it. Um, but they're, they're neat. They offer a different aspect, uh, totally. It, having the dual bath you know bath. and that's a really good thing I'm glad you said that because we talk we've been talking about that over the last couple of weeks several weeks I guess I could say that mm -hmm. the Jackson whole floor plan mm -hmm. the, the, or, or also known as the J mm -hmm. uh, the quad slide H with the super bath is a game changer for a lot of people it really is and we we've, we've had a lot of uh, traction on that uh, 1318 just there, sold yes Yep. And congratulations to that couple that purchased that. And well, that. and another customer uh, has one going in uh, 1315. That's right. Yes. That's right. So, so and and both of those both of those customers are West Coast uh, mm -hmm, families mm -hmm. that are going to be enjoying that large quad Absolutely. Uh, floor plan. No, everybody's uh, excited about it, including the sales guys. Yes. Uh, so uh, we are we are excited uh, about it because it yeah. brings a it brings a, it fills a void that the customers wanted. Mm -hmm. And for Jay Graham and our, our upper management, our senior management, our owners, um, 
and all the way into the design team to mm -hmm. come together and come up with what, you know, basically filling a void that the customers were asking Absolutely. for. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So, hey, yeah. Before you sign off, will you remind Mickey's back everybody there, everybody. what your Facebook page is? Hey. Your personal one. Thank you, Mickey. Uh, Marathon Mondays with Mal. Go to Facebook and search Marathon Mondays with Mal. Like and follow me. I do content. I try to do it daily. Uh, if I don't, if I don't do it daily, I uh, try to hit you up a couple times a week at least, maybe two, three times with additional content. There's always going to be more content there. You'll see uh, paint jobs. You'll see remodels. You'll see uh, snippets that you do not see on YouTube or Facebook. So thank you for mentioning that, Mickey. Um, I know I'm going to be looking at it. Yeah, you better be. <laughs> <laughs> Big thank you to Alan Christensen for spending time to tell us about 1303. Big thanks to uh, even Rod Johnston who came Absolutely. in here. And, um, you know, Rod is closing in on 20 years with Marathon. So, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm closing in on this show. You like how I tied that yeah, in? Yeah, I do. I just I do. came up with That's that. That's a pro move. I've been working on yeah, it. Yeah, it's a pro move. Thank you, thank you. So speaking of pro moves, big thanks to Alan and to all of you for watching. Uh, don't forget to be yourself and do good things. That's the only way to live your life. I'm out of here. I'm going to go get a coffee. The truth is I already had one and I'll probably have another. Have a good Monday. And uh, so for Armand and Mickey, we're out of here. Have a good week.